Hi everyone, welcome back to another scrapbook layout video and thank you for joining me again today. Um, I am using the Family Fun Collection again and I was just showing you there, I actually cut this pattern paper off and the branding strip showed what was on the other side of this paper, but you can use those tickets if you want. I saved them. I don't know if I'll end up using them, but hey, you know, any, any extra bit you can get out of your paper is good, right? So I started off this layout. I actually wasn't going to record it. I was just kind of, this was back a couple months ago when I just wasn't feeling it. And I just, I don't know. I was thinking maybe I needed a break and just to do a few layouts that I didn't record. And, but this one I started to do and I had a feeling I was really going to like it. So I'm really glad that I recorded it because I am, I think it's turned out so good. Um, you know, sometimes we have those layouts where we think, oh, that's so, that turned out so good. And then once you got, well, I don't hate it, right? We all have those. Um, and I'm totally fine with that because I don't feel like you can love every layout. But anyways, what I was doing, I knew I have a little something in my mind that I wanted to do on this layout. And so I wanted to have a portion of the bottom of the layout with white cardstock. And because it's kind of a fun boy type of gaming layout, I decided to tear it. Now, a lot of times when I tear the paper, I'll use like a ruler or something to kind of give it more of a straight tear. But as you saw me do, I just literally went for it and just tore the paper. Um, and I, I like how it kind of goes down on the left-hand side. I, I feel like the tear turned out really good. And just to give it a little bit more interest as well, I went ahead and added the stripe strip below it and then tore it the same. It's not, it doesn't have the exact same look, um, but I don't want it to look exactly the same. I just wanted it to go have the same curves as the top blue paper, if that makes any sense. Now, before I started this layout, I did go ahead and mount these photos with each of them having a different pattern paper behind them. And I used all paper from the collection. But that one, before I started it as well, I thought that that asteroid type paper that's at the top is was black with the guys on it. And then when I started this layout, I realized it was blue. And so the photo that was on the right that I changed to orange just now originally had a blue photo mat and it was not going to stand out at all. And I had originally also thought that I was going to put the photos kind of a crust where the papers are torn, but all of that stripe strip, like you couldn't see any of the uniqueness of the tear. So I did move them up um, and I'm glad that I did. And they're gonna go on the layout. You can kind of see how I have them wonky. They're not glued down at this point, but they're gonna be very wonky. So um, this layout is kind of about my boys. So their bedrooms are right next to each other. And it's kind of cool because they can sit in their own rooms playing games and um, they can play online together. So they're in the same game, but they can still sit in their own rooms and hear each other. So I was walking by, I actually thought this was New Year's Eve, but according to the date, it wasn't so, but that's no big deal. Um, I was walking by and I thought I would just take a picture. You know, this is something they might want to remember in the future. And anyways, uh, that's why, the, of course, there's a couple of them being silly because they're boys and they're my family. Sorry about that. I had an ant on my computer. Um, it's that time of year when there's ants all over the place because they're hungry and it's raining outside. So I'm going a little bit crazy with ants. So anyways, I um, back to the layout here. I wanted the title to be just gaming. And the reason for that is because when my boys basically want to know if one of the other ones or the other one wants to play a game, they don't say you want to play a game or something. They just look at the other one and say gaming. And the other one will either answer with gaming or some kind of other weird remark. <laughs> it, I mean, it's funny and it works for them and I'm glad they have their little thing. Um, I was actually going to journal about that on this layout, but I kind of, the way the layout went, I didn't want to add any journaling because I didn't want to basically, not that it would ruin the layout. It's just that I didn't, I wanted it to just be that. And it goes with the pictures either way. So it's no big deal. And maybe they'll remember that. Maybe they won't, but 
Um, I did make my own alphabet letters with cardstock and I used three layers of white cardstock scraps, just cut from scraps, and then one from some pattern paper. And you can see that I kind of distressed the edges with some black ink just to kind of help them stand out. I kind of went, I wasn't aggressive with the black ink, but I definitely made sure that it really helped them stand out. Um, and you know, I just, the more I think about it, the more I enjoy, I have to go through my alphabet stickers. That is on my to-do list because I just feel like I'm keeping a bunch of them because I might use them someday, even though I don't love them. And I feel like that's not, you know, why am I keeping them if I don't love them? You know, um, I've just, I've gotten some from different places, you know, like giveaways or stuff that, that I don't like and I'll probably never use. So um, I do need to go through them and I will maybe record that when I do that. But anyways, what I really love though is making my own. I love the fact I don't have to guess whether or not I'm going to have all the letters. I don't have to guess if I'm going to have matching color like these. I just made out of some of the pattern paper in this collection. So the blue is exactly the same. So I, you'll probably see me. I was doing them for a while and then I went back to letter stickers because I thought I would get them more used up and you know, I'm not going to get rid of all my letter stickers, but definitely I, I, I enjoy using the dies a lot more. Now this circle sticker, I put it on some cardstock and punched it out because it was from that sticker book that is just that I've mentioned that I don't really care for. Um, and I wanted to glue it on where it's going basically half off of that photo. And because it's going half off, it was just too flimsy and it was very obvious that it wasn't going to fit. The funny part is, is that I glued it down here and then I'm going to end up moving it. And I also took a scrap little half circle from that cardstock and put it on the part where it was going off the photo just to help it kind of stick because, you know, the photo is, has its own thickness and then it has the mat below it. So that just kind of helped it all stand at the same height. Um, if it wasn't one of those more flimsy stickers, I probably wouldn't have had to worry about that, but that just made me feel a little better. Like it was it kind of just helped it stand out a little more, I guess you could say. So I'm going to have um, that cluster there on the left hand side and then one up on the top right. And then this one that's going to be kind of, it's going to be a different cluster. I'll talk about that when I get to it. Uh, but I, I love how it turns out. So I'm just kind of working around before I kind of move on to that area and just adding a few things in. I had this controller and I decided to go ahead and kind of tuck it. I actually had to cut it because the letter was already glued down, but I wanted it to look like it was coming out from behind the G. And I feel like that kind of filled in that area really well. So here comes the part of the layout, which I'm most excited about. If you look at the pattern paper above, it has all those like asteroid guys and they're coming down or going up from these like dash marks that are orange colored. So I decided I had all these little stickers. Some of them were from the sticker sheet that came with the collection and some were from the sticker book that I was talking about. And then I also have some puffy guys of these, which I've placed a couple up above but I'm going to quickly realize I don't have enough to do what I want to do below. So I'm going to move them down below. But what I'm doing is I'm kind of mimicking, basically mimicking the pattern paper from above and doing it down below. So I'm drawing, I'm taking my straight T ruler and drawing a line with a pencil. And then I'm taking that and then I'm drawing some, or I'll put a couple of these asteroid guys down below and kind of line them up. And then I take the orange marker that I thought was the closest. It's not the exact same, but nobody, you don't really care once the layout's done. And I just draw kind of like those same dash marks. And I'm going to fill in quite a bit of this bottom area doing this. And I love it. I think it turned out so cute. This was why I was super happy that I ended up recording this. Um, at first, when I first started doing this, I did try to mimic 
the exact pattern. I even pulled that one out so that I could see like what colored asteroid guys or whatever they are they had or who was where. But then I pretty soon just kind of said, eh, who cares? And I went for it <laughs> because I didn't have exactly what they had. And so it was m like more frustrating to try to be exact than it was to just go ahead and do it. So again, what I do is I draw with the pencil and I found that to be the easiest way to line these guys up. Um, they're probably not 100% straight, but if you kind of draw the pencil mark first, which actually I'm wondering now if I even erased any of those pencil marks, I'll have to go back and look. Um, but if, if you kind of line up the certain parts of their bodies and stuff with the line, the pencil mark line, then it actually lines up. They're pretty easy to get fairly straight. So you can see here. Um, I am going to add it. I actually thought I would only do a few lines of them, but the more I did it, the more I was just really liking the way it looked. And it was one of those times where you definitely feel like you need a little bit more here or a little bit more there. And um, I can't remember if I even have some that are just kind of hanging out on their own. I don't think I do. I think they each have like the orange dash lines, if those are what shooting lines or whatever those are supposed to be up above. Um, but it turned out really cute, you guys. <laughs> um, you can kind of see, I have it here, but I kind of, again, I go back and not only that, but I kind of figured why not use up all of these because I mean, I might do another gaming layout, but oh well, if I don't have these, right? So I went ahead and I wanted to kind of have it kind of going like up diagonally so that it would kind of bring your eye up into the photos. And then that's where, I, so that's, you can see the one I'm doing now. And then of course, after I do that, it's like, oh, well, I think I need another one somewhere else. You can see, see me kind of tapping and looking around at the layout to make sure. So, oh yeah, I think I need another little one here. Um, and I'm also adding, you can see I added just those dash marks. I wanted to make it look like it wasn't just the guys, like there was more dash marks. So it just looked like there was more people around. So, and also here's where I kind of was like, uh, I don't really like those puffy ones up there. And oh, good. Now looking at it, I did erase it. So <laughs> I guess I don't have to go back and check the layout. Um, so yeah, I really like how that turned out. Uh, that is pretty much, I think, I want to say that I go back and do a little bit more, but maybe I'm wrong and I just don't remember. Um, but if you want to mimic that, that's pretty much all you have to do. I think having it on the white cardstock is a little better than having it on any kind of pattern because I don't think they would stand out on anything other than white cardstock. And again, that's why I did the whole layout because I wanted the kind of the white down below. Um, and just so you know, I did add that arrow above the word gaming because I was going to put my journaling next to the word game or right above it there. Uh, but like I said, I think I decided I didn't want to do any journaling. Either that or I'm going to add the date or something there. I just decided at the end that I didn't want to do that. So um, I am going to stamp the date. And this is where I realized I had to go look because I, I thought for sure that it was 2000 or it was Christmas Eve or no, excuse me, New Year's Eve, but I guess it wasn't. But anyways, let me know what you think about that, the bottom part there. I, I have a lot of fun. And if that's something, if you have any more questions about it and want to know any more, if I didn't explain it very well, um, if you want to know about, um, about how to make that, let me know and I'd be happy to help. Uh, oh, that was the other thing too, is I found that want to play and I kind of felt like that was almost journaling summed up in two words, right? So I put that over the arcade game and I really like how that looks there. And then I had the arrow there still. So I went ahead and left the arrow there because I felt like, you know what? I still really like that. So, um, I left the arrow there and yeah, I think that's why I decided also as well that I didn't need to add any journaling because if they don't remember that, you know, 
they've got so many layouts to remember different memories that they don't need one on everything, right? <laughs> I just also don't really feel like you have to journal on every page if you don't want to. I think people stress out about journaling a little bit more than they have to, but um, I think if you want to journal, journal. If you don't want to, don't. But here is a close-up. Oh yeah, I also went back and added a few little black dots around just to kind of add a little more interest to it. And that is my layout. So let me know what you think below and thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I shall see you next time. All right. Bye everyone.